I want to talk about what what you would recommend for somebody who maybe they skated 15 years ago and they're maybe they still have their old Solomons or their old you know thrones or something like that. Um, what would you recommend? Like, what's a good way for people if they're getting back into blading to get up to speed and get themselves a nice fit so that they can go out and skate? Because the the bearings, the wheels, and the cuff, you know, that's all old material. Like, chances are they're not going to have a good experience. Things will break. Um, and you know, what would what what? I'm sure you deal with this question a lot. Like, what what do you recommend? Honestly, it's tough because, like, case by case, case by case, for case sure. by case. But I mean, if if we all lived in a world where you know we could afford whatever, I would always right. say get go ahead and get yourself some of the new equipment. Uh, I feel like technology is not really any different, but mat material mm -hmm. structure is like you know they they make better plastics now than they did twenty years ago. Other than Solomon, Solomon for sure, right? Um, so I mean, it, and it, it is nice because. I think that, you know, being able to look at something like a new piece of equipment, mm -hmm. that sometimes motivates me to get out there and skate more. So, I mean, sure. I feel like, honestly, like most of the time when I talk to people and they ask, like, what's going to help me get back into skating? I feel like getting something like that you're happy with, that, that's comfortable. You know, a lot of times when you, you buy that older equipment, the liner qualities aren't that great. <clears throat> The, like if you bought yeah. a used pair of skates, yeah. or, or, or just in general, like, like I just remember UFS Thrones, they came with the worst liners. Oh yeah, and then 15 years later, trying to skate the same thing, you know, not, not, not yeah. And that's the thing is like, it, it's gone a production's gone a long way. And a lot of these companies that are still around have had another 10 to 15 years under their belt to mm -hmm. be able to develop their products. So like, you know, Razor's Colts, that's a great option right there. You know, mm -hmm. doesn't cost a lot of money, comes with a lot of premium parts, and then. You know, you, you got something new, light, and, and solid. And mm -hmm. I think that's the number one thing. I've seen so many cuffs and buckles and all that other junk break. But, yeah. You know, I, don't, I really just, you know, and don't get me wrong. There are tons of people out there that are like, well, I don't want to spend that type of money. And sure. that's just fine. I feel like replacing wheels and bearings could be a great start if you want to just keep your existing boots. No, mm -hmm. you know, I really don't want to spend that much. Because, I mean, you could buy a brand new set of wheels and bearings for like, 40 bucks, mm -hmm. and that would be like something that I myself would be happy with. So, sure. but yeah, I, I, I guess wheels and bearings, I would say. That would, that would be the <laughs> that'd, that'd be the lowest, yeah. But it, but if they could go for this whole skate, that would be. And which skate? So you mentioned Racer's Colt. Is that really? So I'm I'm in the process of reviewing $200 skates, and I think that the $200 mark is, is a oh, bit yeah, high. But if you know, that's like the the high. Right. High range that I would recommend anybody spends. You know, if, <clears throat> if you come out here and you buy a pair of three hundred dollar razor shifts, or if you buy, you know, a five hundred dollar pair of carbons, like you might not like it. You, mm -hmm. you might just collect dust. Um, besides the Colts, what what do you recommend people? Like, what's your favorite two hundred dollars skate? Okay, um, man. So the Clan, the USD Clan. Mm. It's the, or that's it's they call it the seven, so it's a B okay. slash yeah, yeah. slash. Um, the sizing is really funky on those. Okay, but for I think they they go for like one eighty nine complete. Yeah, yeah like yeah. that's pretty that's pretty solid. If yeah. you can get the right sizing, that's a great boot. Uh, that's made by USD. Uh, the sway the sway is not bad, and that's another boot that you could get complete for under two hundred dollars. Um, both come with the MyFit liners and all that. Well. The clan does not, but the sway Montre does. Mm -hmm. um, what else is pretty good? Those those would be the power slides that I would consider, and then Razor's Colt. That one, I mean, I remember when I was started skating, those were three hundred dollars, and those were the ones that I always wanted. Mm -hmm. So for them to be under two hundred dollars now and come with sixty dollar frames, yep, uh, that's pretty nice. And they skate great out of the box. Yep. Um, Follows or Majestic 12s, I always felt like that was a great boot for under $200. You know, the, the Volo slash Rossi's frame. I don't see people break those. Mm -mm. Uh, and it works great with flat. So that's that would probably be, like, out of all the ones that I've always ridden, like, I've had the most success with the Majestic 12 boot. Uh, the Colt boot was pretty good, too. And then I, I would guess that now, I mean, 
if you talk to the right people and order uh, order strategically, you could buy a them skate setup for under two hundred dollars, like with like a like a feather light setup, like you know that mm -hmm. comes off of a shift or something. So I would probably say them skates right now would probably be my number one, uh, just because it's it's fits my foot well. It goes to the right people, you know, supporting the right people. Yeah. You know, honestly, like for me, uh, hope I don't ruffle too many feathers, <laughs> but uh, I, I really don't like supporting companies that don't directly put back into the industry. Absolutely. Like I need, I need to see some tangible contributions, and if not, then you know, I don't care. So, That's fair. Uh, you know, and I and I can see John's like I went there and I saw John's <laughs> work. Like John works. Yeah. And, um, so with that being said, I mean, you know, and I'm and, and I don't base that. That's not my 100% why I chose them skates, but that all, it helped. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been very pleased with these. If you guys like SSM soles, this is very similar to the mm. the SSM sole. Um, I like, you know, uh, what else do I like that's under two hundred dollars? I don't know. That's about it. You there's know, not it's really much tough, else, right? Yeah, yeah. There's there's the K2 Front Street. Yeah. Um, there's the Rollerblade New Jack Team. Uh, yeah, the RBs RBs would be cool. They're the new okay. Jack, yeah. yeah. I just feel like. Uh, you know, I would have been more pleased if they would have dropped the price on the solo. Sure. And then continued the solo instead of the new jack. Right. Because yeah. everyone tells me that the new jack is a little too wide. I didn't have that problem, but I have a white foot yeah, to begin with, foot. so <laughs> it's hard for me yeah. to be yeah. subjective. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, th those are those are the skates. So, um, yeah, I think that's great. So, definitely Colts. I need to get a set eventually. Try them out. I've heard only good things. Uh, the USD 7s um, or the Sways are great. Um, and then, yeah, them skates, let's uh, keep it core. <laughs>